Lines written by a lady who was questioned respecting her inclination to marry was published anonymously in the Massachusetts Magazine or Monthly Museum in September 1874. Forgotten Chapters Research Associate, Alexandra Metropolis. Lines written by a lady with a heart light as cork and mind free as air. Unshackled I'll live and I'll die, I declare. No tie shall perplex me, no fetters shall bind that innocent freedom that dwells in my mind. At liberty's spring, such drafts I've imbibed that I hate all the doctrines by wedlock prescribed. Its laws of obedience could never suit me. My sphere is too lofty, my thoughts are too free. Like a haughty republic, my heart with disdain use the edicts of Hymen and laughs at his chain. Abhors his tyrannical systems and mows his bastilles, his shackles, his maxims and codes. Inquires why women consent to be tools and calmly conform to such rigorous rules. Inquires in vain for no reasons appear why matrons should live in subjection and fear. But round freedom's fair standard I've rallied and paid a vow of allegiance to die an old maid. Long live the republic of freedom and ease, made subjects live happy and do as they please. This poem struck us in a way because of how early it is and how forcefully it expresses the liberation of women at this time. What stands out for, for you all in thinking about it? I think of just how, how strong it is. She says, I hate all the doctrines by wedlock prescribed and haughty republic my heart with disdain who's the edicts of hymens and laughs at his chain. You know, she's so strong about what she's saying. She has no reservation. She's just saying what she thinks. She's not tormented by the idea of having choices that are so uncomfortable to make. Kristen? What I think works really well in this poem is the way that she's accepting her fate as an old maid, but at the same time, kind of think, couldn't you not get married and not be an old maid? Like, she fails to imagine an alternative to this. If you don't get married, you're going to be an old maid. So as much as it's very early and very progressive, it's not as progressive as maybe you would think a poem today would be. Huh, okay. Other thoughts about it? The use of old maid challenges the idea that marriage is essential for a woman to find happiness in life. I think by using it, it enforces her role as an independent woman in a society where that might not be the norm, but it also doesn't have to lead to happiness. Uh-huh. Yes, Kelsey? I agree. I think she's using the trope of the old maid as a way to make such a serious subject almost a little laughable. This is a definitely a very light poem, even in its serious ideas. She's making a declaration, but she's doing it with a heart light as cork and a mind free thing. It's funny, you use the word declaration. I'm wondering if we see this as a sort of woman's declaration of independence, and if so, where in the poem might you see connections to the actual American Revolution or the French Revolution? Is this a poem of a post-revolutionary decade? And would you see the echoes of that anywhere? Well, I mean, I think you definitely see French Revolution, you know, the high republic, the Bastilles, the shackles, the maxims, the codes. It's all revolutionary terms. It's very much warfare. This war against Hyman, the idea of the revolution definitely plays into this. So marriage is associated with Hyman as a kind of tyranny, right? The speaker abhors his tyrannical systems and so on, and she's trying to establish some kind of freedom. I mean, I think that Kristen's point about the use of the word old maid, that phrase, it either mires her back in a conventional way of thinking about it, or maybe Sean has a point here about how it takes that idea and transforms it, makes it over again. Okay, you call me an old maid, I tell you this is what I want to do in this joyful spirit. So I think that's very much what the poem is at the least debating, if not making some kind of positive statement about it. But it's very forward thinking, and it's hard to imagine another place where someone has written in quite this level of defiance at just this time. 